On this week's show, my cousin Dan Linner and I road trip from Minnesota to northeastern Ontario's Crane's Lock Haven Wilderness Lodge. The vehicle is loaded for another epic fishing adventure. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself, and who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. A couple drive-through burgers, Metallica on repeat, and a yerba mate tea or two later, and our GPS notifies us we're approaching the end of the road. From there, it's a boat in travel only to the lodge via Ontario's French River, a region steeped with history and tales of giant fish. We're greeted by Lock Haven fishing guide Josh Penner and staff, and we all hit it off immediately. Despite the rain, I couldn't wait to get fishing. We're coming into Cranes Lock Haven. This is one of the rides, a nice big pontoon that they have, rigged out with a 40 horse. What is nice, it is raining today, so we're staying dry underneath here. We have all our equipment here. We're coming in. It was actually really good musky weather. They boated a 55 I think that's that's what it was. A 55-inch muskie was boated yesterday. This is perfect. We have full moon conditions. This is really exciting. I think we could we could get into some really big fish. Not only, you know, hopefully a muskie, but definitely some big walleyes and maybe bass too. With our bags carted up to the lodge by the helpful staff, I commenced rod rigging immediately. As you can see from the giant baits, the plan was to chase muskies as well as French River's ample smallmouth bass and walleye. We couldn't have scripted it any better if we tried. The clouds parted and the late afternoon sun illuminated the water as we traveled up the narrows into some really fishy looking water. It was pretty fun fishing from one of Crane's unique fishing pontoons. Definitely lots of room for multiple anglers to cast. Still, the bank fisherman in me just had to get a little closer to the falls, so they let me off the boat to explore. So the, the uh, we're fishing a pool. This this reminds me of the reminds me of the movie, The Revenant, up here in the in the French. Look how dark these fish are up here in the French River. The scenery, the scenery, is just stunning. This is and fishing beneath these falls here. Incredible. Crane's Lock Haven Lodge sits on a four square mile island and all 15 fully serviced log cabins have spectacular views of the French River from private sun decks. A fleet of 16 foot boats and pontoons with four stroke motors and fishing kayaks are available to guests. The cabins are fully furnished and super comfortable, but you might want to spend evenings unwinding and sharing big fish stories in the big wreck cabin, a super cool place with lots of character. Hockey memorabilia, hundreds of hats left by guests, even a snooker table. The history of this place too, you know, going back to the old, you know, the trappers in the old, the old days, you know, 100 years ago, 150 years ago, the fur traders and they had to come up and, and, and manage these waters without GPS, without sonar. And the one thing they did do, I know for food, is they did eat fish.
This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. We just got into uh, Crane's Lock Haven last night. We're out here today. I'm with Josh, who's, who's been here for uh, six years yeah, now. Yeah, this is my, my sixth year, yeah. yeah and absolutely. yesterday, you got a big muskie in the boat. We did, we got a 48 inch muskie. I'm gonna say it was at least about 30 pounds and it was uh, it was amazing, monster fish, yeah. Yeah, there's some gigantic muskies in these waters. The day before, the 50, lodge record, right? Lodge record, 55 and a quarter inch muskie. One more time, guys. A little handshake and hug. Oh my God! Right. That's That's still, still, <laughs> still surreal. You know, still hasn't sunk in yet. That's yeah. a, that's incredible. So today, we see we got low light, overcast conditions, good for musky, but we're also going to go for some smallmouth yep. and go for some walleye, kind of multi-species today because yep. that's a lot of what the French River has to offer. Yeah, we're going to be fishing a little deeper too because the water level is really high right now. There's yep. current everywhere so we're gonna be fishing about 30 40 feet for some walleyes and then i think we're gonna go do some casting for All the big right. ones after i like that yeah i like that and if there's an equal opportunity bait for walleye and smallmouth it's a jig and crawler simple but effective i like that that run and gun style yeah well it's uh <laughs> sometimes you have to yeah you never every day is different too every day is yeah. a different adventure you know where they are it's just a matter of getting them. So the rod and reel I got, I was jigging, and I caught it. I caught it on uh, on a hook. Yeah. Bass for a little pike. Smally. Oh yeah. Oh, large mouth. Large mouth? Yep. Oh boy. Might want to, I don't know if we need the net. You want to net them for me? I can just swing them in probably. I can swing them, that's fine. All right, watch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. One. Yes. That's actually a nice one. That's a good, yes. good looking large mouth. Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Wow. The color, the colors oh, are pretty healthy looking fish. Right? Yeah. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. Okay. They don't get as big up here as they do like in the southern states and stuff because they don't yeah. grow. That's a nice. Look at that, eh? Yeah, in the French River here, we got a lot of different species of fish. We have obviously the dominant muskies, um, pike, northern pike. We have walleyes, smallmouth and largemouth bass, whitefish, sturgeon, um, obviously rock bass, perch. A lot of different kinds of fish. So there's so many, a lot of food for the bigger fish in here too. And, and you mentioned, the, you also <laughs> mentioned the catfish earlier too to oh, add yeah. to that list. Yeah. Basically, it doesn't matter what you like to fish for. We got it all. Any any freshwater fish you can think of are in, in this river. Josh and I alternated fishing top waters like the Spro Rat to fishing the bottom with the standard jig and crawler. Honestly, it was hard to choose. The graph lit up with fish at all depths in the water column. Get the net. <laughs> net. Net coming. Yeah. Scoop, scoop it. There we go. go. Woohoo! Nice. Beautiful health fish. Look at that. Beautiful French River walleye right there. That's what it's all about. And we're gonna let him go so we can get another one. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo!
This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario Canada. Yeah, so there's a competition at the lodge every year. Kind of gets everybody uh, gets everybody into it. The biggest fish in each category, you get a free four night stay at the lodge, which is cool because it gets everybody fishing with a purpose, right? And uh, I think right now the biggest pike is 35, which is beatable. The biggest muskie is 55 and a quarter, which is probably not beatable. And the biggest walleye is 31 inches right now. And bass, I believe it's 19, 19 or 20 for bass. There we go, all right, all right. I, oh, 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 it's a smallie, like a good, is it? Good right. smallmouth is really just, oh, there's another, oh, there's a better fish on the graph right now. I'm gonna let this guy go. There's actually a better one down there. Yeah, there's a lot of one to two pound smallmouth in here filled, tons and tons of those. A lot of three to four pounders, and that just shows how healthy of a fishery it is here. And you get the bigger ones too. There's, uh, you know, you get the five, six pounders too, the trophies. Yeah, as with any river system or most river systems, the forage base is gigantic and can support, a big forage base like this can support a healthy population of fish of all sizes. You see that across North America, across the world for that matter. Big river systems, big fish. Yeah, the biggest walleye I caught in, on this river was about 29 inches. I've seen bigger. Biggest one I've seen was 33 inches and it was a massive fish. And it was in this spot right here. Okay. Got a little bit more pull to it. A little walleye maybe? Yeah, maybe a little walleye, a little eye. Uh oh, I felt the little eye, yep. Yeah, edible. Yeah, no. flipper. Flipper. Nice, nice beautiful fish though. Yeah, look at the colors on that. That blue sheen to it. Troy, that was a perfect shore lunch fish. That's the perfect eating size. That's exactly what we want. And I'm gonna show you how we do the shore lunches at Lock Haven. And you're really gonna enjoy it, I think. After exploring the beautiful French River and catching a mixed bag of fish species with Josh, we both had worked up a pretty healthy appetite. And I'm sure the other anglers returning to camp were feeling the same way. You know, you really can't put a price tag on an authentic Canadian shore lunch. Walleye fried over an open flame in cast iron, sizzling potatoes and onions, beans and molasses, buttered bread, and a cold beverage or two. I can't think of a better way to relieve the stress of today's fast-paced world than breaking bread with new friends and sharing some fish stories and lots of laughs. Adding a side of mouth-watering barbecue ribs, some live musical entertainment, and you've got an unforgettable shore lunch experience, Lock Haven style. I can't think of any place I'd rather be on a still summer evening than right here, enjoying great food with good friends. You've probably heard the muskie called the fish of 10,000 casts, but in Ontario, several fish a day are actually possible, and each and every cast could produce the fish of a lifetime. I've personally seen it happen countless times. Now here's a question for you. What is the Ontario provincial record for the largest muskie caught? 67 pounds, 11 ounces? 58 pounds? 59 pounds, 7 ounces? or 65 pounds. We'll give you a moment to think it over and have the answer when we come back. 
So what is the official Ontario record for the largest muskie? If you guessed 65 pounds, you're right. On October 16, 1988, angler Ken O'Brien caught a 65 pound muskie that measured 58 inches in length with a massive 30 and a half inch girth. An old fish estimated to be 29 years old. Can you imagine that? O'Brien caught the trophy on Ontario's Lake Huron, specifically Georgian Bay's Blackstone Harbor in the Moon River Basin. The lucky bait? A four inch countdown rappel. Turns out Toronto accountant Ken O'Brien was actually trolling for walleyes when he made this record-breaking catch of a lifetime. Ontario's beauty never ceases to amaze me, and it's difficult to put into words. You simply have to experience it yourself. Sometimes, it's better to let the images and music tell the story. The song that follows, Man of the River, was written by my new friend, singer-songwriter Michael Casey, the same gentleman who frequently performs at Lock Haven Shore lunches. It memorializes Eric Crane, whose blood, sweat, and tears built an unforgettable island retreat on Ontario's French River many years ago. We've been coming up here for 17 years. We started in 2000. I actually met Eric Crane, the father, who's rest in peace, in the late 90s at a, a fishing show on Long Island. And uh, ever since then, we booked the trip the first time in 2000. And 17 years later, we're still with the Lock Haven family here. That's what it is. We look out here at the French River or this island we're on, and I could be sitting in rush hour traffic on Long Island in the gridlock, as we call it, the rat race. So with no muskie. This is home, but it's only one week a year, unfortunately. And uh, young Dan and I, like I said, 17 years have been coming, and it's just not going to end. Uh, you know, sun rises and sun sets on the river. It's, we call it our sanctuary, basically. And when we do go home for the year, we start the countdown, and yeah. that's what keeps us going. Yeah, this trip, uh, 55 and a quarter inch here. I got myself a nice 49-inch musky and. It's just a blessing. I mean, we've had years with no musky, and we've had years with musky, but not to this length. I mean, here's yeah. Dan the musky man, basically. <laughs> yeah. And they're nice and fat. Just want to throw in, when we caught these two big muskies this week, Josh Penner, our guide, who's now a personal friend, and uh, you know, we don't call them guys, they're just buddies, they're friends, and we stay in touch all year round, and I think Josh is actually marrying Katie next year, and we look forward to the invite to the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> We'll tear it up there, you know, <laughs> it's about as crazy as we get. Hearing Dan and Ken talk about how much they look forward to this week here really puts everything in perspective. Today, the fishing was a little bit tough post frontal. Uh, I did get a nice little muskie and uh, some little smallmouth. And just being out here and experiencing this, this is what makes it 
so special and worthwhile, just going out at everything. It's, it's, it's making new friends, it's catching fish, it's the shore lunch, it's, the, it's the, the big dinner they have on the deck. It's everything put together that just makes it an incredible, incredible time that is cherished. So as, as the story goes, said beaver behind me would disappear throughout the years. Sue never figured out why. And over here, after some time, and take <laughs> these group of guys would take the beaver out, dress it up, take photos of it. And, and uh, this is what, these were some of the hijinks that happened. This is my favorite right here with the gun, the beaver with the gun. And, and the trophy, of course, and then smoking a cigar and a little bit of, a little bit of whiskey. So, you know, the, the groups that come here, they have a lot of fun. And you can see just talking with people, hearing stories like this. It's just an incredible place. And one thing that is also a, a tradition here besides catching fish and having a great time is leaving a hat. So here I am leaving my Go Fish Ontario on the beaver.